true MMO from the past were a real experience and a real ride. I've had a number of years of MMO experiences in my life, most of it pre-World of Warcraft, and leveling back then was a long and difficult ride. The genre back then was built on being highly addictive, especially with friends and a great community, and you needed to group up with other players right away if you wanted to advance. MMOs that generally start at the end game, and everything leading up to that is a tutorial, is a sort of horrible design philosophy and is one of the reasons why I feel many MMOs fail today. And that's just my opinion. Question is, will the game design of this game bring us back to those early days? Who's behind the title? And what can we expect from the gameplay? If you're interested in any of these questions and more, then join me in taking a sneak peek at Throne and Liberty. But first, if you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to help the channel grow. And with that out of the way, let's get back to Throne and Liberty. Throne and Liberty is an upcoming massively multiplayer online role-playing game and it's being developed and published by NCSoft, a South Korean international video game developer known for such games as Lineage, Guild Wars and City of Heroes. Throne and Liberty was originally planned as the next-gen version of Lineage and was known as THE Lineage or Lineage Eternal. According to NCSoft, the game had become so different that they decided to write a completely new story for it the game steadily became its own IP and concept. I'm really excited on the design features of this game. The developers have stated that they focused on the story content and by doing so have a worldview and content reflected in decisions made by characters. One of the features in the game will be players can turn into animals in order to travel, and players can transform into land, water or flying animals. For successful exploration of some regions, a player will need to use animal abilities to move. They also said players can carry other players once they transform into the animal. And I think this could be amazing for exploration and fun, and reduce teleportation use every time there's an obstacle they need to bypass. There will be weather systems and day-night system, and circumstances will impact how you play. The terrain is influenced by environmental factors. For example, you can infiltrate a castle in many ways during a siege including the underground sewers, and it could be filled with too much water and become unavailable if it rains heavily. But players can affect the environment, and they can change the environment in favor by causing a solar eclipse or rainstorms if required conditions are met. If it's sunny, then lightning type magic users will attack a single target, but use lightning based attacks in the rain and it will be an AoE. And if you're an archer and shooting a bow, the wind will affect the range and direction of your shot. Now, weather changes and day-night cycles affecting gameplay isn't something new. But if implemented properly, in an MMO, it can be a game-changer. NCSoft is looking like it's focusing more towards well-designed challenges and competing with one another to defeat those challenges like sieges and raids. It also looks like they want to implement those challenges in your character's journey or level-up stages of the game as well and not just Endgame. What's really interesting is that NCSoft is developing two MMOs at the same time. Throne and Liberty is focused more towards a Western type MMO while Project E is focused more towards the Eastern type playstyle. It's very interesting to see two games sharing the same worldview. Since Throne and Liberty and Project E are based on the same planet, they will be on the same time zone. They will not only share the same gravitational and ecological characteristics, but also the same origin of magical and fantastical elements. Still, the characteristics of each civilization and history will not be the same because they are set in different continents. In addition, important events that take place on the planet are interpreted in a totally different way in the two games, making them more interesting and fun. Throne and Liberty will be using the Unreal Engine 4, and the game has been in development for a very long time, and it seems that the team is pushing hard for Throne and Liberty's global launch this year in 2022, with no official release date. The game will be released on console and PC according to the blog post. So what do you guys think of this game? Do you think NCSoft can pull off a launch this year? And do these features sound exciting to you? Comment down below. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please like and consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to help the channel grow. And if you're interested in upcoming videos regarding more MMOs, then check out my playlist. And don't forget to watch my last video, Atomic Heart. And I appreciate you guys for stopping by my channel. I'm Az, and thanks for watching.